Today, we'll be reading Stegothosaurus by Bridget Heos and read with permission by Henry Holt and Company. Now, before we get started, let's look at the title, Stegothosaurus. Now, you probably know what a Stegosaurus is, a type of dinosaur, Stegosaurus. And the reason that this is an interesting title is they take Stegosaurus and put a the in between. Now, if you just look at the last part of the name, it's a thesaurus. Thesaurus, you may not know, but it is a resource. It's a book that people use that they can find different words to use when they want to find more interesting words, not boring words that you hear over and over again. And I like to call those sparkle words. For instance, if you are trying to find a different word for good, you might open up the thesaurus and you find excellent, great, marvelous, superb, all kinds of different good words that you can use instead of a boring word. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you before we begin. Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs, a stegosaurus, hi, another stegosaurus, hi, and a stegothosaurus. Hello, greetings, salutations. He was a little different from his brothers. Stegothosaurus knew a lot of words and used them to describe everything he saw, like the clouds, for example, fluffy, fleecy, feathery. As the dinosaurs trekked across the desert looking for something to eat, a mountain appeared in the distance. Big, said the first Stegosaurus. Big, said the second Stegosaurus. Gargantuan, gigantic, Goliath, said Stegothosaurus. The sun rose. Hot, said the first Stegosaurus. Hot, said the second Stegosaurus. Blazing, blistering, broiling, said Stegothosaurus. At long last, the brothers found some shrubs to eat. Yummy, said the first Stegosaurus. Yummy, said the second Stegosaurus. Savory, succulent, scrumptious, said Stegothosaurus. Satisfied and sleepy, the three dinosaurs decided to take a rest. Little did they know, an Allosaurus was lurking nearby. Suddenly, it bounded out of the grove of trees. Scary, said the first Stegosaurus. Scary, said the second Stegosaurus, and they both ran away. But Stegothosaurus was too busy thinking of all the words that described the Allosaurus. Frightening, formidable, fearsome. The Allosaurus opened its mouth, baring its teeth, which Stegothosaurus couldn't help but notice were pointy, piercing, peat. But rather than chomping down on Stegothosaurus, the Allosaurus looked at him and said, hulking, hefty humongous. Oops, wrong direction. As it turned out, she wasn't an Allosaurus after all. She was an Allothosaurus. The two Dinothosauruses passed the day describing all that they saw. Flit, flutter, fly, dip, dart, dive, slink, slither, slide. After a day of adventure, it was dinner time. As Stegothosaurus nibbled on shrubs, he asked, how did you learn so many words? Well, let me move my picture here real quick. Well, Allothosaurus answered, one day, I ate a Stelothosaurus. Stelothosaurus. At that moment, only one word popped into Stegothosaurus's head. Not trot, trapes, or travel. Not skitter, scramble, or scoot, but run! <laughs> and he ran and ran until he caught up with his brothers. Over here, you'll see them. Who were very relieved to see him. Hug, said the first. Hug, said the second. Snuggle, cuddle, squeeze, said Stegothorus. The finale, the conclusion, the closing. Nope, just the end. 
hope you enjoyed this one.